So what is going on everybody and today I am here with a, another historic rebuild it's the 2012-2013 Philadelphia 76ers. So I'm going to try to put uh, and try to remember to put the roster and where I got it from on the screen now so you guys can check it out. And yeah, so if you guys want to see more historic rebuilds, let me know in the comments section below. This is going to be a very cool one because this team was freaking god right awful. So yeah, let's just try to get over a thousand likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. So let's do it and I hope this is also going out on Mother's Day. So I hope you guys are all having a great Mother's Day. I'm pretty sure there's probably no mothers watching me, but make sure you wish your mother i uh, happy mother's day so let's get into this right now we have andrew bynum and drew holiday who they ended up trading drew holiday at the end of the season for no one's the well on draft day um they have thaddeus young evan turner nick young spencer hawes jason richardson boy allen and um Darrell wright justin holiday arnett motor oh my god I remember this guy um charles jenkins i don't actually remember that guy but so this is the team um like drew holiday is 22 and he's gonna be a beast Bynum's 24, but let me just see where their contract situations are going. Because if they're, yeah, Bynum's a free agent this year. What about Drew Holiday? Please tell me Drew Holiday isn't. Damn it, Drew Holiday's a free agent. I'm definitely going to try to bring back Drew Holiday, but I think Bynum I'm going to trade now. Because we're, we're going to tag. We're not going to make the playoffs. Or, like, even if we did, even if we did, even if we did, we're not making the finals. So I might as well just tank this year and get a good pick. Because the draft class is not a good one. It's the one with Anthony Bennett. I think no one's the well. Um, Old Depot. Giannis is in it. So um, I might go after Giannis, but we're going to see what we can get for Andrew Bynum. If I can definitely get another first round pick from a team. But we're going to see. Uh, because previous trade draft picks are on. So, like, the Sixers, we're not going to have the Lakers pick. Stuff like that. So, if we can get an offer for Bonham, that'd be cool. But 2K does like to take its sweet old time here. All right, guys. So, look at these trades. Like, um, Andre Goodell, we can bring him back to Philadelphia. Right now, he's on Denver. He was in that three-team trade. I'm pretty sure with somebody he was in a three-team trade with, I thought. Nicholas Batum, he's only making 10 mil a year, but I'm not going to do it. Um, we get a first-round pick from the Wizards, but I saw this trade. It caught my eye. Jimmy Butler, who's on contract for the next two years, and we'd be getting their first-round pick in 2019. Can I change that to their 2018 first? Or they wouldn't do that. Um, I would have to give up Jason Richardson, and we get Taj Gibson. Let's do that. Okay, so that is a very cool trade. Um, Jimmy Butler is obviously going to be the two-guard for the future. Let me just see. Is there anybody else on a contract here that might trade Nick Young? Well, right now uh okay nick young and taj gibson i think i'm gonna move right now so we're just gonna see what i can get for a package of nick young and taj gibson because i don't plan on bringing them back anyway so i might as well just get something for them instead of them walking in free agency uh so DeAndre jordan no thank you shane betty anything really young would be cool marvin williams but he's in a contract year uh lance stevenson is he also in a contract year oh he's got a team option i might do that lance stevenson trade yeah, we're going to pick up Lance Stevenson and DJ Augustine. Don't really care too much about DJ Augustine. There's Lance Stevenson will be a nice bench part for the future. So that's going to be for me now. Let's hope we get a bottom five pick or a top five pick, however you want to say. And yes, we'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Guys, unfortunately, it looks like we, we actually just missed out on the playoffs, but that kind of sucks. I thought we were going to do a lot worse. LeBron on the Heat wins MVP. I think this was one of his last few years on the Heat. I think he maybe had two more after this or something like that. Uh, Damian Lillard wins Rookie of the Year. Cool. That draft class was literally insane. I think Anthony Davis won it in real life. But, um, yeah, Jared Smith, Sixth Man of the Year in New York. LeBron, Defensive Player of the Year. Most Improved, Roy Hibbert, and uh, Eric Spoelstra, Coach of the Year. But also, shout out to the guy who made this roster. This is a really clean roster. Shout out to him. I think it was, like, Clay Colbo or something like that that you all see in the beginning of the video when I put the picture in. So, this is all NBA first team. Kyrie made it. Um, okay. Um, uh, second team. Are we going to see any Sixers? Probably not. Hey, Jimmy Ball, all defense and second team. I will take it 80 overall, and he's getting paid how much for next year? Oh, my God. We, we have him for the rest of this video on cheap. That is that is nice. I'm happy with this. Um, Okay, so let's see here. Um, We go 38 and 44, and we don't make the playoffs, unfortunately. Okay, um, I'm going to have to probably trade up if I want to get a nice pick here, but we'll see. Uh, Stats-wise, Jimmy Baller 16 a game. Drew Holiday 13 and 5. That's actually kind of disappointing. But I might do a sign and trade with him in the offseason. Uh, Thaddeus Young, 13 and 9. Stevenson, 10. Turner, 10. Augustine Hawes, 9 for each of them. Okay. So let's get into the playoffs here. Let's see who wins it all. This is going to be like a Heat Laker final. Are we going to finally see a LeBron Kobe finals? Let's see. Um, no, we're not because it's the Knicks' fault. And the Knicks win the championship. Oh my god. This was, I think, the year that we made it. I'm a Knicks fan. So that's what I'm going to say. We, we made it to the Eastern Conference semis. And I think we lost to the Pacers 4 to 2. I think that was this year. Uh, where we had Jason Kidd, uh, Chris Copeland, JR, Chumpert, Melo, Stoudemire, Tyson Chandler. Pretty solid team, and then everything it went like here, and then it just went there so quickly. Uh, player time, and there goes Jason Kidd. Hall of Fame, Ray Allen. League meetings. Um, 
Okay. Jason Kibble definitely making it into a Hall of Fame in real life, I believe. He definitely should. Um, Drift Lottery. Let's see where this is going to take us. If it can bring us luck. Let's see, we go from 13 to 13. So we don't move up anywhere, which is fine. Uh, by me, staff signing. Uh, Brent Brown, yeah, you have bad ratings. We're gonna fire you. We're gonna hire Rick Carlisle. People say he's the second best coach in the NBA. So I'll take it. Uh, I'll definitely bring him on board. Let's see what he signed with us. Yeah, very easy to sign coaches this year, opposed to last year where it was impossible to sign a good coach. Oh, we signed the auto generated coaches. Um, okay, so we're here on draft night. Spencer Hawes, I need to move, and, oh, who is this guy, Ferdinand Zioka, I, I don't even know who that is, we're trading them for, to clear up cap, thank you very much, LA, for the Clippers for that deal, and I'm gonna be trading, I think, I gotta trade my boy out, actually, I'm gonna keep Thaddeus Young, can I get a first round pick for him, um, doesn't look like it, but I can get pick 31, which is basically a first round pick from the Pistons, so, um, if I could trade these three picks, can I move up in the draft from like 13 to like 8? Um, let's see. So we're going to go to proposed trade. We're going to go 13, 1, 13 in the second round. Let's see. Can I move up to 8? No, I cannot. Can I move up to like 10? Okay, so we have pick 10 in the draft. Let's see. Who do I want to draft? I don't even know. Um, if I can get maybe... Oh, wow. It only This draft class only has like actually 10 auto-generated players. Damn, okay, I should, oh my god, it only has like five auto-generated players, what the heck. Alright, terrible draft class, I don't know who it was by again, but definitely don't pick it up. Um, I think I'm gonna, you know what, let's see here, I think we could do solid, okay, we have actually three first round picks next year. So I'm gonna try to trade my pick now, pick 19, and pick in 20, to move up to pick 4. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's try it, first we'll try pick 3, okay. Pick 4, will that work, who has pick 4? It is the Pistons. Okay, so we moved into pick four. I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I drafted. All right, guys. So we were able to get Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is actually the third highest rated player in this draft, um, at pick four. It went Otto Porter, Oladipo, McCollum. And yeah, this looks exactly like Giannis. So great job to this guy. Um, yeah, so not one of the best draft classes in the world. So let's make sure we get Giannis. He'll most likely be the starting small forward next year. We're going to bring back Turner and Stevenson. I might trade Turner. Um, trade Turner, not trade Turner, if you know who that is. Um... I might trade Turner now to clear up his cap. Uh, Drew Holiday wants 20 mil. Um, like I said, a sign and trade could be in the works. Do we have bird rights on him? Yes, we do. And I think that's it for now. We could also get back Justin Holiday. But no, I am going to be trading Evan Turner because we're going to have way too many small forwards on this team. Or like, nah, I don't want to pay this man 7 mil to come off the bench. Like, if he was really, really good, I would do it. But yeah, he's not that impressive to me. Lou Williams for 5 mil. We could bring him back to Philly. Um, I honestly wouldn't do, mind doing that. Jimmer for debt. What did he put up last year? Okay, never mind. He put up like 0. 0.7 points a game. So we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. Um, we're going to do the Lou Williams trade. So there we go. We pick up Lou Williams. I didn't give up a second round pick, but who cares? It's a second round pick. So free agency day one. There's some studs here. Dwight Howard in his prime. That is very nice. Um, we have our starting shooting guard and small forward and power forward in Thaddeus Young. Um, Chris Paul would be cool, but I think we're going to just bring back uh, Drew Holiday and play it safe. Yeah, because we would have to give me a bidding war with four other teams that are offering him all max deals. So I'm going to go after Mr. Dwight Howard. I will give this man 28 mil, a player option, and a no trade clause if he wants to come here. Um, yeah, I don't plan on trading him. He was fine last year. I'll be fine for us in the future. Um, Paul Millsap, does he want a lot? 21 mil. Josh Smith wants 25 mil. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to offer any of those guys deals. Shooting guard, uh... No, we're good there. Backup point guard, though, would be interesting. Uh, Jared Jackal offer. Same with Mo Williams. So, let's see what we did. Do we get Dwight Howard? No, we do not. Um, okay, we're still his number one deal. That kind of scared me. Come on. No! We were his number one deal! Andrew Holiday signed with the Pacers. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, so, this is calls for panic mode. Um, I'm gonna try to sign Josh Smith. I'm going to try to sign Paul Millsap, and then I'm going to have to make trades. And you're going to see what I'm going to have to do here. Um, damn, this is not good. I'm going to have to try to sign Iggy. I'm going to have to try two of these studs right here. Maybe even three of them. Um, center, how much did Bynum want? No. Pekovic, fine. Jeez, uh, that really set us back. So let's bring in Mo Williams. Josh Smith goes to the Wizards. Jared Jack goes to the Nuggets. Um, we get Iggy. We get Millsap. Cool. Um, 
Pekovich accepts another offer. All right, so I'm going to sign some other cheap people. I'll see you guys to start next season where I have to make a boatload of trades. Okay, guys, so I am going to be doing this trade. I'm trading Paul Millsap and a first-round pick from the Bulls, and they have 94 d -Rose. They're not, it's not going to be a good pick. For Mike Conley, who did very well last year, he had, he averaged 17 and 8.5, and, and he's making $8 million for the next three years. So that's why we are picking him up. Um, we'll save a lot of money throughout this deal. Um, so that's the first trade I'm going to make. I'm going to, I think, field offers for Igudalo right now and see what I can get. If I don't, or if I can't trade him for a center, it's going to be okay. I'm not going to, it's not going to be the end of the world. Because I might try to trade him to move up for Joel and beat in the draft. Um, Al Jefferson making too much money. Yeah, I don't mind if we tank this year. Brick Lopez, though, making 14 mil a year. What did he put up last year? Solid numbers. Like, that could always be an option. Roy Hibbert, interesting option. Um, Tim Duncan, now he's too old. But, yeah, so I think, you know what? I'm going to wait till the end of the year. Maybe not having a center will make us do worse. So that is going to be for me now. Let me just make sure. Um, yeah, everybody is on contract for next year. That's pretty much has value for trades. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Let's hope we have a, like, our pick is able to pick up Joel Embiid in the offseason. All right, guys, so LeBron wins MVP once again. R Rookie of the year is Victor Oladipo, part of the Memphis Grizzlies. Eric Bledsoe, six men of the year in LA, still backing up Chris Paul. They didn't trade him. Did they trade him? No, right? No, they did. No, wait. No, they did trade him to New Orleans, right? And then I think he signed with Phoenix in the offseason. And now, yeah, he's still at Phoenix. I don't know. It's a whole big thing. I, I don't remember, really. Jay Crowder is still at the Mavericks. Cool. And here come the Warriors. So, uh, any Sixers? Let's just see. Um, Giannis and our rookie first team. Oh, I might have to trade Giannis if we're trying to go all in for next year. So, yeah, we went 36 and 46. So, nothing too special. Oh, my God. The ninth seed once again. Oh my god, if we want to get a beat, we're going to have to do a lot. Oh, uh, we kind of got put into like the crappy spot two years in a row, the ninth seed. Okay, so Jimmy Baller and Mike Conley are going to be a point guard and shooting guard next year no matter what. Everybody else is probably going to get traded. Not everybody, like Lance Stevenson might not. Um, Boo Williams might not. Uh, Thad Young is getting traded. Iguodala is getting traded. But it's a Wizards Pacers semis and the Warriors sweep. Okay, yep, the Warriors are good. We get that. They're, they're coming up um to be like the warriors um kevin garnett in the hall of fame let's just go to league meetings here let's reject these all right jeff lottery we're not gonna get lucky again what were we at th we're at 12 this time and we get put at 12 so yeah nothing helps us helps us out there so let me just simulate to the nba draft real quick so i'm gonna try to trade up into the top three to get Embiid. um first though i want to see what I could get for Igudala, just straight up, because I might just try to trade um, Fad Young, pick 12 and 28 to get up there, because that that might work. Jerry Smith to make it too much. Dion Waiters to come off the bench, that's not bad. Um, and we'd be current up cap, pick 11, no thank you. This trade tempts me so much. This trade tempts me so freaking much to get Brooke Lopez on the team, because he's only 15 mil a year. Um, you know what? I'm going to do the Brooke Lopez trade, but I'm not trading pick 12. Um, I want to see if I can just do a trade straight up. I'm not giving you pick 12. I will give you three seconds and we'll see if this will work. Okay, I have to throw in that pick uh, and Gerald Wiles. I think that's pick 28. That's fine. So bro, I want to see how much money we have now um, on the books. 26 mil. After I trade Gerald Wiles, we'll have 36. After I trade Jameson, we'll have 46. After I trade... Okay, we're going to have like 56 mil in cap after I make a couple more trades. So I got to trade Jameson and Gerald Wallace here. Um... Where is Dion Waiters? I want to see if I can pick up Waiters for these guys again. And then I could maybe move um, Lou Williams. So, let's try to pick up Dion Waiters from the Cavs. You could have uh, Thad Young for Dion Waiters. I would have to throw Gerald Wallace and give me a first round pick. Perfect. That is definitely what I wanted to see here. So, now let's try to trade Jameson and Lou Williams and Mo Williams. Could I throw three people in a trade? Pick 11 from the Kings. Eric Gordon. Oh, he's making too much. Jared Dudley's interesting, but mm, he was awful last year. Wesley Matthews, but we don't need any more shooting guards. Okay, I'm going to do that trade for pick 11 from the Kings. Thank you very much. I will see you guys at Ricky Signings with... Actually, no, not yet, not yet. Uh, okay, no, we actually don't even need Joel Embiid. So, I want to see how far I can get up with pick 11 and 12 in the draft. Could I get to pick 4? No. But what about if I throw in my pick in 2021? We have pick 4 in the draft. Cool. So, I'll see you guys at Ricky Signings with who I drafted. Hopefully, we land either Wiggins 
uh, Parker or Joel Embiid. All right, guys, so I did take a pretty surprising pick here. I took Nikola Jokic at four and went Wiggins, Kraft, Embiid, Jokic that I took. Parker didn't go till eight, and Jokic is a 79. He will probably be our... Mm, I don't know if he's going to start next year for us, possibly. Uh, so let's definitely bring back Jimmy Butler. Melo declined. Hello. Okay, we... Small forward could be to use for us. Uh, we have 58 million cap, and we have like five people under contract. No qualifying offers. My free agent. Stevenson, I want to bring back. Um, we're going to bring back Odom and him. But we don't even have bird rights on Stevenson, so he's probably long gone. So Melo is here. Cousins. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I think, offer a deal at both of these. Melo. Um, what did he put up last year? He was a stud. I should get, I like, if we could start this man, I'm going to start him. We're not it. He's really going to go to the Warriors. Are you kidding me? All right. Can we at least get DeMarcus Cousins? We, we haven't. We struck out last year. We tried getting um, Dwight Howard and Drew Holiday back, and we couldn't. And we're not even the number one deal for him. Um, Okay. We're kind of screwed here. I'm going to try to do the same thing I did last year. Sign a good guy and then trade him. So we're going to do the same here with Pau Gasol if we can't get Cousins or Melo. Uh, well, dang, what's 30 mil a year? Hell no. Oh, my God. Rudy Gay, Greg Monroe. I'll see. Actually... Ooh, Gordon Hayward. That's not bad. Um, so let's do this real quick. We get Pau Gasol. Odom and Rudy Gay accept other offers. All right, we signed Pau Gasol. Uh, that's fine. Can we get Mel or Cousins? Probably not. We get Gordon Hayward. Okay. So we're going to end it there um, with signing big names. And let's just sign. Do I have anybody on bird rights? No, I do not. So let's just start. Can we get any vet for cheap? Well, how much cap do we have? We have 10 mil, actually. That's enough for, like, a solid player and a couple veterans. So, um, who do I... Ooh, who's this 81? Marcin Gortat. He wants 18 mil a year. And I forgot. Well, dang, wants that much. Chandler Parsons, 21 mil. Bledsoe wants 21 mil. Splitter, we can get for five. Mario Chalmers, we can get for five. Aminu, we can't get. Ramon Sessions, we can get for five. All right, so we can't get M Monroe. I'd rather not get Sessions. Oh, my God. Splitter accepts elsewhere. We get Cayman. And Mario Chalmers accepts elsewhere. Nice. All right. Let's try to go Glenn Davis, Sessions, um, Patrick Patterson. Let's just see. Come on. Oh, my God. Everybody's accepting other offers. We, we get Sessions. We can't sign Patterson, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to sign a couple of vets. I'll see you guys at the start of next season. All right, guys. So, I'm here at the start of the season, and I think I want to trade Giannis because overlooking it, he has four-star trade value. So, I might try to pick him up. And there's somebody I was eyeing that I don't know if we're going to be able to get. But we're going to try it because we have this Kings pick that has so much value. Not Dwayne Wade. Um, freaking Kawhi Leonard. He has more stars than him. This Kings pick right here has th two and a half star trade value. Let's see if this will work out. No, it doesn't. Damn. All right. I thought I was going to be able to pick him up. Okay. Um, I got to figure out what I want to do here. I think I'm going to trade Giannis for Bradley Beal. And I'm going to be moving... Um, what's his face? Two, small forward. All right, so we pick up Bradley Beal. We're going to be moving Jimmy Bauer to small forward. I don't know how it's going to work out. Okay, he goes up, actually, so that's cool. So, I think this is the team. Conley, Beal, Butler, Jokic, Lopez. Actually, we're going to start Pau Gasol for now. And then, um, we have Gordon Hayward coming off the bench. Um, Jokic, uh, who I'm going to give more minutes to Hayward. Dion Waiters, Ramon Sessions. Let's go win a championship this year. All right, guys, so end of the, I think this would be the 2014-2015 regular season. James Harden wins MVP. Aaron Kraft from Ohio State wins Rookie of the Year. This guy, he was really good in college as a passer. Never amounted to anything in the NBA. I don't even know if he played in the NBA, I like, but he was a beast at Ohio State. He played with Jared Sellinger there. Um, but we go 55 and 27, as you can see in your bottom right. So I'm very content with what we did this year in the final season. Um, Nicole Jokic makes all rookie second team, average 3.7 points a game, which is not that good, but he had 9.9 .9 rebounds, which I'll definitely take. So here in game, or round one, we're taking on the Orlando Magic. Uh, we were the one seed, we just beat up the Wizards, so let's go. Um, second best record in the NBA, third behind the, uh, Rockets and Warriors stats-wise. Beal averaged 17 a game, good pickup there. Uh, Hayward 14 off the bench, Butler 14. Gasol double double. Lopez almost a double double. Conley 10 and 6. Let's go win a championship or try to at least. So, round one against the Orlando Magic. They don't even have Dwight Howard anymore, so this should be an easy win. We pick it up in five games. Taking on the Miami Heat, who have LeBron James, Chris Bosch. No more Dwayne Wade, but their team, it's like LeBron and Bosch up here, and then they have nobody down here. They're like, nobody's good down there. And we win at six. Okay. Okay, so taking on the Wizards here. They got Wall, Porter, Josh Smith. Giannis, so this is a revenge game here. Can we pick up the win, though? No! 
Oh my god, we lose in seven games. Oh my god, how? Um, game seven, we lost by 15. Wow. Um, we were up, or it was 1-1. One, one. They were up 2-1, two, 2-2. One, two, two. They were up 3-2. We won game six, and we lost game seven. And so Wizards Spurs finals, damn. Okay, so Giannis does get revenge. Imagine that Giannis was MVP. No, Kawhi wondered who I wanted to pick up gets finals MVP. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this historic rebuild. Now everyone's going down because um, we lost in the Easter Conference semis. Yeah. That's going to be for me. Let's try to get this video over a thousand likes. Like I said before, I hope you guys have a great Mother's Day. Take your mom out to eat. Get her a good nice gift. Um, and also, yeah, let me know in the comments what other historic rebuilds we get to next. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new on that road to 100k. And yeah, so that's it for me. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.